one, we met the Kennys and observed their unique way of life, while acknowledging the rewards and challenges of a rural upbringing, including the critical decisions Clay and Karina have had to make regarding secondary education. I knew that when, once we started having children that I would have to teach them. Well, I did six years of homeschool. So for 13 years, I was privileged enough to teach my children. So Joey, I need you to climb up into this pantry and get me the big thermos, please. I think we would have got a ladder by now, hey? Mm-hmm. We'll just small the cupboards. That one, and there should be another one there. Yeah, I'll see it. Thanks, honey. With the Kenny children enjoying homeschooling through distance education, the next step was choosing a boarding school, a decision seemingly already made for them. The reason why we chose Nudgee was mainly my husband's idea, being an old Nudgee boy. We've been associated with the school for four generations. My grandfathers went there, father went there, I went there. Besides that, it's just a good place for young people to get to know each other, get brought up with a good Christian attitude. They get to meet a lot of kids from other schools and compete against them and then with them. They also build relationships that they'll take right through their lives. And Clay Kenny has personal experience of those lifetime relationships, especially when it comes to the rural community. Wherever we go, on a weekly basis, I'll run into ex Nudgee boys. We do a lot of business together. When kids leave Nudgee, they just go in all different directions and lots of them end up back in the rural industry. There's always that camaraderie there and trust when you come across each other that um, everyone knows that they'll support each other. When we had our wedding, there's all these Nudgee boys and we had a Nudgee photo. I think there was about maybe 24 or so. And I said, that's ridiculous. No one can have all these friends from school. I think I had two. Once we started having children, the paediatrician was a, an old nudgy boy, and then we had orthopaedic surgeon, old school captain. So everyone we've come into association with and needed has been more or less related to Nudgee. So the friendships that Clay made at school then became our lifelines later on in life. And the Nudgee experience has been consistent over time and generations. The reason why you go to Nudgee is to get a good Christian upbringing. Nudgee certainly does that. I could feel the camaraderie in the school. There's just more to Nudgee than just looking at it from the eye. It's underneath the people you meet afterwards and the, and the spirit, the general spirit of the college. It keeps it alive. I think the best thing I've tried to generate with my boys and my grandkids is to honour the fact that they've been to Nudgee and to carry that through the rest of their life. They've got a head start. Oh, this is like the tradition, isn't it? Like, to just make <laughs> sure bark and <laughs> use Dad's head. Joey, can you just sit here? Just stay here, mate, yeah, please. And uh, didn't your dad get another? Yeah. yeah, that's so what we're just talking about, you, Chris. I wasn't listening. Yeah, I got something in the ears. What do you want? Just like, oh, I'll come to a, a tea. Party. Four sugars. Starting a new school will always harbour maternal anxieties for a rural mum, regardless of the generational connection. To be honest with you, that meant nothing to me. But once we sent the the oldest boy, then it meant everything to me. The biggest thing for me is they were happy. So when they used to come home, I used to say, how's school? It's amazing, mum, I love it. And so as a parent who's looked after their children till grade six or seven, that means everything. It then became apparent that maybe this fourth generation nudgy thing was very important. After such positive involvement with Ben and Dean, a decision has been made to send Todd and Joe to board at Nudgee from an earlier age. The thing I'm mostly looking forward to Nudgee is um, probably making new friends and playing new sports. But uh, we're also very excited about it's just another step in their lives where they're going to be um, moving up a peg, learn to become independent, going into the boarding school there. They'll have to look after themselves. Really trying something new, opening a new chapter in my life, seeing what it's like meeting new people. I'm not really like a person who can meet people and be friends with them straight away. But naturally, such an exciting move comes with the inevitable difficulties. Well, we're certainly concerned about homesickness as they've rarely been away from us for a long period of time. Well, Todd and Joe are two 
totally different individuals. Todd is quite sensitive, so my concern is for him when he goes to Najee that he will recline into himself, get severe homesickness, which he's had before. And the fact that they are 1,600 kilometres away, I can't be there. I'm a mother that has been so hands-on with them for so many years. Oh, probably going so far away from home. Being away from everyone, my mum, dad, granny, granddad, um, auntie and uncle, all my cousins. That is Imagine's concern, not being able to see your child every day, make sure they're okay. So the time has come for two more Kennys to join the Nudgy ranks. And the lengthy journey to Boondall begins. Well, the first day is something you try to prepare yourself for months in advance, but you just can't. What is first day at Nudgy College, eh? There is a boy in this room who's going to become your best mate. No one denies that this will now be a difficult time. We start our exciting new journey, you will say goodbye to mum and dad. My car's going to be empty. That's next time on the Home Away From Home.